Hey guys, how you living? Welcome back to Gaslands Garage, where we're going to continue on with our Scorpedo transformation into the Scorpion build for Gaslands, auto kills, stuff like that. I'm Wild Bill, and uh, it's good to have you in the, in the shop. So let's dive into it. We've got to drill these posts out. It's uh, one of the steps necessary to take the car apart. We've got to take the car apart for a whole lot of reasons. We've got to get at these wheels. Can't really do that if uh, if the car is together. We've got to paint the car. Uh, that means stripping the chassis, get that blue paint off so that we can put a fresh coat of primer on there as well as uh, get this to the base color that we want it to be. And then uh, paint the body. I find it's going to be a whole lot easier to paint this body when it's off. With that, we also want to get inside here to the, the engine, get that painted, as well as addressing some of the issues that we have with this windscreen, um, making them a little bit more gas lands or auto kill. So, what we need to do is get into the, these posts. So, the steps to do that, I use... A little mini workbench think of it like the lift for your car I guess your Hot Wheels car I've got uh, it's basically just an oak block uh, which I've got a piece of craft foam on so while I'm working on it it gives it uh, some some cushion keeps it from getting marred up if you know this was on uh, a hard surface you can damage the plastic scratch it all up I don't want to do that I want to keep it in a nice shape so that's why I have these, especially like when you get into doing um, like restoration work. You really, you know, you're putting a lot of hard work into the car. You want want the body to stay real nice, especially after you, you prep it for paint. I've got a few of these uh, because I do use them quite a bit. The um, This one here is the same as this one, but I, I put some foam on this one so that it... Um, it really sticks and doesn't slide around on the bench, especially with some craft foam down on the on the bench itself. And I I really work with two different heights. The reason why I have two different heights, as you can see here, is when you're using your car um, or or using it with your car, and it's not all your work isn't done on the bench itself. You might want to kick it off to a side. Now you can see this one here. It's, it's not really sitting flush, so I might move this, the Scorpedo up, and now look at it, you know, it's not rocking, it's stable. So that's why I have two different sizes. It depends upon the, the shape of the body, the height of the body. Uh, it, it really That really determines which one that, that I'm going to lean in on. But for right now, I'm just going to go back to my old bog standard one here. And we're going to uh, position this up, get it ready. Now, I've got a few things here that we're going to use to do this. This is a number 50 drill bit. If you are uh, wondering what that is, Google it. <laughs> I'm not going to do all the conversions and all that for you. But basically, a number 50 drill bit uh, marries up to the size of a 256 tap. Again, um, I'm not going to get into converting it into metric. Uh, if you use metric, then, you know, you should be able to figure it out uh, what that conversion is to your M uh, series of, of fastener. So we're using a 256 uh, fastener. Depending upon the depth here, it might be like uh, 3 16 of an inch long. I'm going to chuck this uh, drill up with my number 50. And what I do is... If I can get this on camera here, I'm going to sink the drill bit way up into my drill. That way, um, and I'm going to basically eyeball the depth of what I think the post is to uh, the shank here of the drill. Don't want to drive, uh, drive this drill bit all the way through the car. That's why I'm, I'm shortening it way up. There's other ways of doing it. Some people put like tape to 
serve as a measure uh, to where the, the depth is. Some people even put like a little plastic collar on the uh, drill itself. You can certainly do that. I used to do that, but I find this is a little bit easy, uh, easier because uh, with the plastic, it tends to mushroom out and then you lose your, your true depth. So we're gonna drill this out. Now I don't, I don't put this in my hand and do it this way. Uh, don't make your hand a target, all right? I have right there, I don't know if you can see it right there. I got a little little scar from where I bit myself with that drill. So um, with that, that's where all this came into being and why it was born. So I'm going to position this up here. I've got the car nice and level with the, the table here. And I'm going to come up straight on a 90 with the drill. Use a variable speed drill, one that you can pull and control the speed. There are drills out there where it's all or nothing. You get that high, that high speed. So I like a, a drill that has that variable speed to where I can keep it real slow. So we're just gonna drill into it. This is plastic, so it's gonna drill relatively easy. Also with this one, uh, the, the plastic modern Hot Wheels has a little dimple from the process of where they melt that plastic and mount it into the body. So it's gonna make it real easy. Simple and easy enough right there. Take my plastic bits, put them to the side, and I'm gonna go after the back. I'm gonna find where this car is happy. See, all different ways of resting that, that car into that block. Here we are. Not rocket science. Just be careful and always have eye protection on, especially when you're working with the metal cars because you don't want metal fragments getting into your eye. You only get one set of eyes, so um, protect them, keep them safe. Now, I've got another Scorpedo here just in case uh, something went wrong with this one. And you can see that there is the way that it looked this is the way that it looks now. Got a nice little drill hole, dead center. That's what you're after. So now we gotta change our bit. So I'll take my number 50 out and we're changing over to what's called a uh, center drill counter sink center drill counter sink bit all right and that's what it looks like if i can right there now why am i using this center drill counter sink because i've got a another one here and let me grab a, a standard bit for you All right, so these here and these here have different tips. You can see right there that there's different angles to the drill tip, all right? The angles are important. Reason why is that when you drill in the plastic ones, this kind of bit with a, a, a more flat uh, to the surface is going to grab that plastic and it's going to pull the car up into the drill and not a fan of that with this one here with this more pronounced angle and having a center point first off I stay dead center into that hole that I've already drilled it serves as a pilot hole secondly this steeper angle bites into the plastic at a um, more gradual pace as I go in so less likely to grab hold of the plastic and pull the car in when you're dealing with metal the that pulling motion isn't really there because it, you know the, the hardness of the metal but um, it also does give you some 
some control with as you're drilling in not drilling into the chassis and tearing that up so that steeper angle you do have to watch out though because you, it does require a deeper uh sorry a deeper um post because of that that pronounced tip to the man why isn't it focusing today that uh yeah there we go you got that pronounced tip that comes up off of that bevel so we've got ourselves drilled up and we're ready to go doesn't take much there's one side there's the other Now I don't want to go get into the metal with this drill bit. I can see that there's some edge of the blue showing through, which shows me that I'm pretty close. I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver, like a little uh, jeweler screwdriver, and try to pry into this, see if I can, sometimes it'll just break off. if. I've done it right, which doesn't look like I've, I've gone in deep enough. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, there. There we go. See how it separates off? I could have went a little deeper, but there. Broke right off. And that's, uh, look at how clean that is, right? That is exactly what, I didn't even mar the, mar this paint up, scratch it or anything like that. So, with that, not that it matters much, we're stripping it anyways. I should have went maybe a little deeper. Oh, no, it's coming up. All right. There we go. I did get it. Okay, so there we are. Drilled out. And with that, look how easy that is. All right. Not hard. Not hard at all. Interesting. Um, well... Let's take a look. Uh, we're going to have to take these wheels off. We'll do that in a sec. But you know, there we are. There's our post, right? You can see dead center. Look at that. Real nice. Real nice. Not torn up. We do have a little bit of flashing that was created by the drill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to knock it down with a file. There we go. Take all the little burrs off. I'm going to have to take this down onto my bench. Clean it up. There we go. Go back to my drill bit here. And I'm going to use the drill bit basically just to... Uh, to clean it out there we are good to go good to go so drilled out ready to go now this piece here uh, we get a good look at if you look back to our first video where we were doing the design we saw these things buried way up on the inside of this of this car and I thought they might have been headlights now we get a good look at them. They look, they look more like missiles to me. More like missiles. But you know what? We can, uh, we can also take a look at maybe flattening them out and putting a gun extension on it, make it in a machine gun. Either or, pretty cool. I could even see if you weren't really going to use this piece so much, and maybe we might not. I don't know. But I would have thought maybe. Uh, not really quite what I expected it to be on the inside, but I don't, I don't really didn't know what I was expecting. But um, I could see maybe even using these as bits if you were looking at just tossing this aside and putting in uh, 
putting in a, a proper motor from uh, a resin cast, really dressing it, dressing it up. That motor doesn't look too bad though. But uh, yeah, you could take this and and cut this away from this big piece and maybe even maybe even mount that somehow into. Uh, I think you're seeing where I'm going with that. That's a possibility. Maybe maybe that up up on that. After all, we got a we got a couple of scorpedos that we can play with. Interesting. So let's uh, let's talk about taking the uh, taking the wheels off. Now, in in this case here, the wheel is actually sort of mismanufactured. Look at that. It's almost almost coming off real loose real loose that's pretty wild all right so you've got these three tabs here and then you've got four tabs here on the back axle we're just basically going to snip these off and the axle will come apart from the chassis these axles don't spin um that's not really what drives it so when we put this back together we're going to uh, Put the axle down into this groove or if we decide to change the stance we might put a a tube in here which will raise the body up and with that um, we're gonna have to uh, put the the axle through the tube or if we keep it right in this slot here um, we'll uh, just put some epoxy or JB weld whatever you know your 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 choices on that either or and that's going to hold the axle firmly into place so let me get my snips and uh, we'll get us going all right with the snips a little metal piece is going to fly off make sure you get some safety glasses on like I do so when it does it's not going into your eye Sometimes if you just snip the one you can you can get it off the uh, but this one isn't I'm gonna snip again and nope not gonna want to play so I'm gonna have to go after all of them no big deal we're not gonna miss them Ow. being stubborn sometimes it happens I don't like to destroy these uh, these axles when I'm taking them apart. Some some guys you just see snip them, and uh, I don't like doing that because I you know it. I like to have a a little parts bin, a little junkyard that I can go to, and I might find uh, another purpose for for these. I'm gonna visit that in a sec, but uh, I'm gonna flip around here that's a good one that's how it should work why this one's being so stubborn I don't know you just got to be patient and sometimes nibble away Wow the back one, the amazing thing on this car was the back one. Oh, there it is. The uh, back one was so loosey goosey. You saw how that was. And then the front one was in there, quite the opposites. So we've got our chassis free of its wheels. This guy here is ready to strip. So. Uh, that we'll cover that in our next episode but part ready now I did want to talk to you about um, about why we're stripping it and what I did was on this Scorpedo here I put this little yellow dot of paint all right now we talked about uh, this in the face one of the Facebook groups about uh, just just paint them just you know you don't have to take them apart you don't have to strip them just paint them and 
with that, you're certainly going to have a decent result. I think you lose a little bit of the detail that's in, in the car if you do that. Uh, I like to see the detail, so the less paint that I have on the car, the better. But the paint is going to, you know, it's going to be on there. It, you know, it's not, uh, that's not rubbing off, you know. So it's going to work for a while. But the surface of a table, which I've got here, you know, it's got gravel, rocks, you know, that kind of stuff. And as I knock everything down, <laughs> hope I didn't knock you guys into oblivion here. Just give me a sec, because I'm not going to have to. There we are. Get that set up again so I can see what I'm doing. But um, there's our dot, all right? Not rubbing off. But if I, t you know, if I was to take this piece of uh, metal off the end of the screwdriver and start to tap into this, it's gonna scrape right off. Obviously, you guys are like, well, yeah, of course, it's a, a sharp little metal screwdriver. You know what? It doesn't even have to be a, sh a sharp metal screwdriver. We could take, we could take this wooden. Uh, stick here this craft stick and I could just you know dig that right off but I'm gonna take a soft flexible fingernail and I'm just gonna look at that okay I went with the softest thing I had close by and I've already chewed up this paint with not a whole lot of pressure not a, I mean I'm barely digging in gone all right, that's why we're stripping it. There is n this smooth surface, no tooth for paint to bite into, and that's what happens. Look at that. It's like the paint was never there. So, case in point of why I'm stripping it, why I'm going to prime it with a fresh coat of primer, and uh, I want the that primer to bond with the 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 tooth of the metal instead of trying to put paint on smooth paint just doesn't work for me so I've got two Scorpedo bodies because you know I've had one for the previous one long story short was doing a video for you guys and it went sour uh, so had to go off and get another Scorpio or uh, Scorpedo and then uh, found another one so we're sitting pretty good for spare parts these are going to go into into a uh, bath of stripper and uh, we'll get them stripped out on the next episode the uh, another tip for you and I didn't use it because of this being plastic I've got what this is is just a, a little plastic cap which I've got some soap in all right the reason I have that is when I'm drilling into metal I will take my drill and put it into the soap get a little soap on there you could use wax too some guys use wax but I find uh, I find the soap works pretty well it's a, a, a trick my grandfather showed me and uh, that basically gives you some some lubrication while you're while you're drilling into the metal and uh, it it works out pretty well it, it beats not using the uh, like soap or wax so a little tip for you when we get into uh, doing a metal one also with metal uh, that's a center punch this is a it's a hammerless center punch is, is what it's called and it's got a spring action to it so all you do is basically take now I do have a car which I'm gonna which I'm gonna be doing um, for a restoration and there it is All right this is an old uh, Shelby turbine and you can see here we've got our posts they're not rivets they're posts and uh, what we do we need a, a center point so that the drill doesn't drift around when we're trying to drill this I take this here get it 
dead center. It's it, it's so important. And I know I'm probably blocking where I am with this. But, well, I'll bring it up. Basically, I'm just taking this, putting it into the center, right? And I'm going to push down real hard. And it's going to, you're going to hear a pop. And that's this spring that's inside this mechanism locking and shooting the shooting the pin down into the metal I'm not really liking where this um, it's so important this is why I'm taking my time here I know it's not compelling video but it, it's so important that I get this this right there how'd I do a little off-center but darn close See, and that's, that's what it does. Yeah. And then from there, I've, I can actually do this again to deepen it. And it's even easier the second time. And uh, I'll, I'll chuck up the, the number 50 drill bit into the drill and, uh, and go after it. But it's the same process as the plastic just takes a little bit longer because we're we're in metal and I really got to baby this one because uh, the Shelby is not so you can see me measuring this I don't want to drive through this this car so I'm gonna have to drop this even I mean, I've, I've got this, even then I'm going to have to be careful. A little bit of soap on the edge. drifting on me not liking that no. you know it's it never fails you know you you do something a thousand times and it works every time and then uh, you get on to showing somebody something and it goes a little wonky on you but yeah. drive into it this way here we go got it that time so you basically understand and know the next step here is going to be to take our our center uh, drill countersink and I'm going to just finish that off so it's really the same process as the uh, as the plastic one plastics a lot easier to work with though the metal does take a little bit um, you gotta be careful not to break your bits and uh, we talked about a 256 tap where uh, that's the tap and what it does is it creates threads within the post um, so that we can screw the car together I'm not going to cover this now we'll do that in the next one maybe part two to uh, our build so got a few things to look forward to hopefully you uh, picked up something new and uh, well if you got any questions Feel free to throw them into the comment section. I'll do my best to, to answer them or address them in a video. Until the next time, always, always remember, maximum carnage is your best option when playing Gaslands. I'll see you next time right here on Gaslands Garage.
Take care.